I'm going to read from my novel, A Jigsaw of Fire and Stars, the first chapter. There's only one thing makes any sense when I wake from my dream. I'm a stranger and shouldn't be here. Should my luck run out, a black-booted someone could step on me and crush me as if I'm worth less than an ant. This I know for a fact. And yet once or twice a week, the dream seizes me and shakes me about. Kill them, kill them, take their treasure. The order goes out and a dilapidated trawler in a stormy sea shudders. An iron grave vessel, lights blazing, rams it a second time. The iron monster backs away, then with engines at full throttle lunges again. Faces contort, old ones, young ones, men and women, brown and black faces. Screams punch through the air. Fishing nets tangle, spill over. A fuel tank explodes and the sea glows, roiling with blood and oil. Below deck, a stench like an overripe mango oozes from a crouched woman. She shrieks, my baby, my baby, save my baby. A tall man responds with a command. The sea chest, fetch our treasure, quickly, for the child's sake. Move. A figure tumbles into the sea. Then an old man, a girl in his arms, leaps. A deafening jumble of sound and sea swallows the cries of the drowning. The slip, slip patter of bare feet on galley stairs ascend. Anxious eyes flit in faces bright with fear in the flame light. The hand of the tall man pummels a pillow of yellow dust. Then a footrest filled with glittering stones for the baby's feet. Someone folds a cloth, a fine tapestry of blue and green into a blanket. Give her this, says a burly bald-headed man, my dagger to help her in battle. May the child be a princess, a true warrior, valiant in the face of danger, yet merciful to those she defeats. May your spear arm be strong, my daughter, the tall man adds, your legs swift as a gazelle's and your heart the mighty heart of a lioness protecting her cubs. The petrified woman scribbles a note and hides it beneath the pillow, whispering a prayer. May our ancestors watch over you, my child. May the creator of all life guide you and make you wily in the ways of the world we are sending you to. The grey vessel, a trail of carnage in its wake, surges forwards with a splutter of gunfire. Bullets splinter the deck, tearing it open, and the trawler erupts in flames. The tall man grabs the baby and bundles her into the chest. He holds it aloft and flings it into the sea. It lurches and almost capsizes. The baby gurgles, entranced by the rough play of water as a wave steadies her boat. She smiles, a jigsaw of fire and stars reflected in her eyes, and she stretches a dimpled hand to touch the moon. Burning timber from the trawler's bar crashes down and splashes the baby's face. Enchanted by flying embers, she coos. But when the sobs of the dying reach her and waves stifle their gasps, she begins to whimper and flung to and fro, bobs up and down, crying in the night.